Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher reportedly looking to move after her scary accident. It seems Carrie Underwood is scarred, no pun intended, from the scary incident at her home that left her with a broken wrist and 40 stitches in her face. According to People, Carrie and her husband, Mike Fisher, are looking to move six months after the accident, however, they allegedly want to stay in the tennis capital, probably because Mike plays for the Nashville Predators. They are completely done with the neighborhood. The decision came after her fall, the insider revealed, adding that security issues have also played a factor in their decision. They've been having a lot of issues with neighbors letting people in the community to look around and it all escalated after the fall. Carrie and Mike previously wed in 2010 and are parents to a three-year-old son, Isaiah, so it makes sense that they want to keep him safe. Carrie opened up about the unfortunate situation in a Today interview with Hodicott Beyond Thursday, May 8. Plain and simple, it was just kind of a freak accident, she shared. I just fell. I just tripped. Taking my dogs out to do their business. It could have happened to anybody. I say if I had fallen anywhere else, it wouldn't have been a problem. But there was just one little step that I went to catch myself on and I missed. She added, in the beginning. I didn't know how things were going to end up. It just wasn't pretty. Luckily for Carrie, her recovery has been positive. I have a dedicated team of professionals who can spackle and paint and paste. Every day I'm feeling a little more back to normal, she told Hoda. And today, the Church Bells singer is comfortable reflecting on the scary time in her life. I don't know if I'll ever be done talking about it, because it was an event in my life, she said. And, I mean, I'm okay talking about it.